the Star Trek Phaser, 1966, the Sony PlayStation 3, 2006. The future and the past come together as we build a Blu-ray laser phaser. I picked up a PlayStation 3 laser assembly for 45 bucks and a Star Trek classic phaser for 30 bucks. To get to the Blu-ray diode, I removed the necessary screws from the laser assembly and carefully extracted the precious Blu-ray diode. After soldering two wires to the diode and installing it in an Axis laser housing, I set it aside and moved to the phaser. This was easy to disassemble by removing the light bulb and some screws. Now it's time to install the Blu-ray. After making some cuts, the laser housing fit perfectly in the phaser light bulb bracket. I also picked up a 150 ohm resistor, 9 volt battery, 9 volt battery snap, and a new switch that'll replace the phaser trigger. After soldering the connections to the Blu-ray diode, the 9 volt battery, the resistor, and the new switch, it was time to reassemble the phaser. I had to make a few more cuts with my Dremel in some spots just to get everything to fit right. The 9 volt battery fits snugly where the two double A's originally were. I ran all my wiring and closed it up. Now it's time to test our Blu-ray laser phaser. It glows a very cool blue-violet color. I've boldly gone where no man has gone before, as I think this is the first time ever a Blu-ray laser diode has been put in a Star Trek classic phaser. And I built it all for under a hundred bucks.